So let's do a very brief history of facial hair and shaving. We think of cavemen as being bushy and ungroomed, and they were because there were no tools. And the Romans had the first batch of barbers come to Rome by around 300 BC, so shaving really took off from there. So let's take a peek at the 20th century, because after both world wars, um, men came back clean shaven from their military experience for the most part. The emphasis was on being youthful looking. You started seeing Hollywood mustaches in the 30s and 40s. And then pretty much every decade after that brought some new facial hair twist. The 60s you had hippies, the 70s you had uh, the mustache uh, look, the 80s you had stubble, uh, and then the 90s the goatee hit. And that really unleashed facial hair as bushy as we saw in Victorian times. Men are being playful, uh, creative, they're expressing their masculinity, but also with a wink of an eye. So most facial hair uh, nowadays is quite ironic. And we're also seeing that men are paying much more attention to their bodies and their musculature. And to that end, they're starting to do what's called manscaping. So nowadays, I think of facial hair as actually a, a postmodern performance. I think a man is saying a lot with his choice of facial hair. And he doesn't mind if other people are reading it or misreading it because of their own historical associations. I think he's saying, this is who I am, I want to express myself, and I can live with the consequences. <laughs>